week ended on 19 July 2024 and the US market was witness to be correcting in the last week if you look at the s&p 500 the broader market index the corrections to an extent of 2% was witnessed in the week ending on 19th july while nasdaq 100 corrected by nearly 4% however dow jones industrial average index was bullish but there was a price rejection what we will see when we visit the price chart market sentiments remained neutral since last two weeks if you look at the fear and greed index with respect to s&p 500 it is in the neutral territory so in this video we'll undertake the technical analysis of s&p 500 nasdaq 100 and dow jones industrial average index to understand the price action determine the support and resistance area which market might respect in the upcoming week friends do not forget to like this video subscribe the channel hit the notification bell for updates let's straight away move to the price chart to begin our technical analysis This is the price chart of S&P 500 index in weekly time frame. The closing price is 5504.99 and this is how this index was bearish in the last week and fell by 1.97% on a week to week basis. We can see a formation of a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern and price was quite overextended. there was a parabolic rise in this particular index and hence the correction was due however the price structure is very strong earlier we have seen a major fall in this index and then a very sharp recovery and there was a breakout of a rounding pattern over here so still if we calculate the target on the basis of this rounding pattern breakout still there is a question for upside move in s&p 500 index now if i superimpose some of the technical studies this was the breakout of a rounding pattern if we calculate the target on the basis of this breakout the first target comes at 5781 and then it has a potential to go up to 6512 level however the correction is started which is quite a normal phenomenon in uptrending market because the market doesn't go in a straight line upside there will be formation of a impulsive wave uh, and corrective wave impulsive wave corrective wave impulsive wave and once again the correction has started look at the price action if you see this trend line which is a rising trend line price has taken support here taken support here which was the confluence of ema21 as well and then price is quite in proximity of this particular rising trend line which is likely to act as a dynamic stop if we see the price action earlier it faced resistance over here and it was a support over here so 5447 to 5500 uh, seems to be a good support area or demand area in this particular index if we see the resistance level this was the area where there is a supply band 5615 to 5638 is the supply area let us move to the daily price chart to understand the price action see the support price has taken support here support here support here and this is the consolidation band so this entire consolidation band will act as a demand area which is 5447 to 5500 however there is an existence of a gap over here at 5375 so 
So even if some deeper correction takes place, this gap is likely to provide a support at 5,375. On upside, there was a gap down opening on 17th July. And hence, this important area of gap is the immediate supply area from 5,615 to 5,638. Once the correction is over and the trend resumption takes place, and this supply zone is taken out, we might see S&P 500 reaching to 5,781. And these targets are always notional. And a minimum expected objective on the basis of technical analysis. If we see this consolidation band and combined with respect to the prior impulsive wave, it was a breakout of a bullish flag continuation chart pattern. So if we calculate the target of this bullish flag and see the target, what it has done, it has achieved the first target of bullish flag and then this correction, which was expected, is taking place. So overall structure of S&P 500 is extremely bullish. Now let us move to the price chart of NASDAQ 100 to undertake the technical analysis. This is NASDAQ 100 in weekly time frame. This index in the last week closed at 19,522.62 and thereby it was bearish by 3.98% on a week to week basis, nearly 4%. Look at the price action. Here too, we have seen the breakout of a rounding pattern. This was the breakout of a rounding pattern over here and target of which comes at 21,672. But considering the 100% expansion, it has a potential to move to 25,589. So still there is a, a good question on upside move. Here, what we can see in the last week, there is a formation of an evening star candlestick pattern and the correction has started because there was a parabolic move on upside in NASDAQ 100 index. So considering the structure, if you see this trend line, price resistance, price resistance, price support, price support. So there was a breakout of a rising wedge kind of a structure. So this area is very important. We have seen the resistance over here and 19,212 is the existence of a gap uh, in daily price chart. Let us move to the daily price chart to further understand the price action. This was the trend line which was acting as a support. Now there was a breakdown on the last trading session of the last week. However, there is an existence of a gap at 19,212. This is the gap which is existing and another gap is at 18,697. So this area becomes a good support area with the intervention of EMA 55 and this trend line which is acting as a resistance was acting as a resistance and should provide as a dynamic support uh, during the fall of NASDAQ 100. So overall trend is bullish. Where is the supply area? which might act as a supply area in the forthcoming week. There is an existence of a gap over here. So this gap will provide a supply area in upside move and a resistance. So 19,962 is the level of median. Let me go to the weekly price chart to explain further. This is the median of this last week bearish candle at 19,962. And there was a breakdown of this spinning top kind of formation at 20,165. So this area becomes the supply, immediate supply area or resistance area in NASDAQ 100. However, once the correction is over, which the correction should be over at this area where there is a uh, confluence of gap at the same time EMA 55 and this rising trend line earlier acting as a a resistance will provide the support. So overall trend in uh, NASDAQ 100 is bullish. Once this takes out the supply area of 20,165, then it will next move would be to 21,672. Let us move to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Let us first go to the weekly price chart. 
what we can see here too we have seen a nice rounding pattern and a breakout and this was the range bound trading uh, which was taking place in dow jones industrial average index and there was a breakout over here so if we calculate the target of this box pattern the first target was at 41113 that has been achieved in the last week and the price got rejected from there forming a shooting star kind of candlestick pattern so considering the price action this was the area of resistance and this is the area of rejection so 39500 to 39800 seems to be immediate demand area once the correction is over and the trend resumes on upside the next possible target could be to 41,954, which is nothing but the target of this box pattern at 100% expansion. Let us go to the daily price chart. If we see the price action, support, support, support. So this rising trend line, which is acting as a dynamic support, also has a EMA 21 over here. And this is the neckline. So this area is a very good demand area from 39,500 to 39,000. 800. So what do you think about the US stock market and S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index? Will support and resistance area or zones that we have discussed in this video, will market respect them? I would be waiting for your comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.